So if you guys have been putting off starting a YouTube channel, definitely tune in today's video. It's for you and I'm putting your foot to the fire because I expect that everyone who is going to start a YouTube channel, I want to see you guys grow as content creators as well as myself. So before we get started, if you are starting a YouTube channel because you watched this video and you loved everything that I said, be sure to leave a comment with your channel name as well as, you know, what you're going to talk about so that way others can sort of grow on this video and we can build a community of people who can support each other as we all grow as YouTube creators. So thank you guys so much for being here. I'm going to go ahead and get started and give you guys a brief introduction on kind of who I am and why I'm here and on YouTube. <music> Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandria Yu for those of you guys who are new and if you're not, hello and welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm getting ready to talk about some of the reasons why you should start your YouTube channel today and some of the ways YouTube can benefit you as a full-time content creator. I'm on my journey to becoming a full-time content creator so I want to share with you guys some of the things that I did to begin as well as some of the ways that YouTube has and can benefit me. As you guys can see I am a small channel so um, I am looking forward to growing and I'm also looking forward to being a bit more consistent and also allowing myself to just grow organically and as authentic as authentic authentically <laughs> authentically as I can okay so yes let's go ahead and talk about my journey I started on YouTube in 2015 I think that first video was like a nail review or something and I just remember kind of being excited to show off my new editing skills I was finishing up college um, in 2014 for that first degree and uh, we learned you know how to edit because of course I wanted to be a journalist um, so being on camera was something that I was eventually gonna have to get comfortable with as well as speaking to people and as well as editing because at the time when I left college there was a kind of it was almost like a preview of what we have kind of going on today in regards to the market so you know we had to kind of learn to be an all-rounder as opposed to someone that was just focused or focused on being in front of the camera or back so you had to kind of know how to do it all so YouTube was just a way for me to kind of hone those skills and to kind of grow as a editor as well as a journalist at the time I just kind of talked about myself when I started and I also did hair reviews because that was something that you know was just what I knew to be in the space and that was around 2014 2015 I am planning to become a full-time content creator and that is because this is a way that I see for myself to be able to get the freedom that I need to live and be happy as well as to be able to leave something that I feel um, I guess worthy of just existing you know i think our jobs as human beings are to create and to exist so that is something that i feel like i'm holding myself as i move into my 30s i'm holding my foot to the fire on it because i do believe that i have the potential and that i will be able to do so so without talking any further about myself let's get into some of the reasons why you guys should start your youtube channel so one of my main reasons for starting my youtube channel was to share passion so I wanted to share my passion which was at the time editing and just creating videos something else that I do like about YouTube and as someone with this personal experience I am someone who is afraid not really afraid I'm gonna take that word out of my vocabulary but I am someone who I'm actually in person if I'm in a room of people I don't know I don't think I'll talk to everyone but if I get to talk to people like you know someone one-on-one -on -one, that's when I kind of bloom and open up YouTube kind of does the same thing like I get to talk to individuals who are watching my content and I get to feel comfortable and I get to also feel like I can connect to you on a one-on-one -on -one as opposed to like a group of people um, however YouTube has also helped me with public speaking because when I'm making videos just like this outside of like vlogs I kind of want to put my best effort in speaking and articulating I think that you should start there if you have a passion for anything really YouTube is one of those places where you can create and do 
almost anything in any niche or space so whether that's beauty um sports enthusiasm film specifically i see a lot of people that are interested in films and cinematic things that are growing and creating really cool content while also teaching others things as well as teaching teaching is another way that people can use youtube to connect to people um, I do believe that YouTube is going to continue to be around for a long time, at least in my opinion. And what I'm feeling right now is that there is a boost of like, I don't know if it's energy. Like, I'm not trying to be all like Yogi Blase blah to you guys. But I feel like there's a surge of just um, energy that is allowing everyday people like myself and you yourself as well to sort of grow beyond the reality that we've had or we've known so far depending on where we are in life i think youtube is one of those places like people will be growing on youtube in the next few years i think that people will also be going back to doing things that kind of in a way it sounds ironic but we are going to go back to doing things outside of the internet but by sharing ourselves on the internet doing the things that we are interested in outside of the internet <laughs> we're gonna be able to create new pathways for ourselves to be sufficient self-sufficient as human beings and i think sharing your passion is a great reason to start a youtube so building up on sharing your passion youtube is a great creative outlet so um like i said and i talked to talked about earlier creating it's just something that I feel that I have to do as a human being. I have to create things. I have to do stuff. It's a way that I channel emotions. It's a way that I channel energy. It's a way that I channel just anything that I guess is external and it becomes an internal problem. I put it back out into the world and I try to create off of it. Um, you know, part of creativity is learning to grow and be authentic to yourself and whatever it is that you're creating. And creativity isn't just limited to art. So if you are an artist, if you just paint, you draw, you color, you do something that brings, you know, that falls within the artist's realm or even just creating a video and editing it a certain way that kind of draws in a, an audience, that's art. So YouTube allows you to create pretty much anything. You are here to create something and that it's almost limitless what you can create of course we want to create things that are not harmful to others and we want to create things that usually create positivity there are things and channels where people talk about gossip or celebrity you know celebrity gossip or they talk about things that are a bit controversial and that is that is unique to that person in those, those channels but you know you have the choice on being a channel that uh puts out positive energy you can also be a channel that want, if you want to be a hater all day on youtube you can do that as well like that's what i'm saying this platform is allows you to create something that is so unique to you even if your channel like mine is just about you and about the things that you're interested in that is literally all you need you know that is one of the ways that youtube um has helped me as far as being creative i get to create and do anything i want so yeah i think it's a pretty good reason to start a youtube channel let's go into the next reason another reason you should start your youtube channel is that this platform allows you to create a personal brand we honestly live in a digital world a lot of times you see people who are full-time employees who also implement youtube as a way to just you know create a personal brand for themselves surrounding the things that they are specializing in you know whether that is something professional or something that they have turned that is not traditionally a professional career they've been able to turn it around into something that can rival something such as a corporate position so that is one of the ways that youtube helps you you know building a personal brand in today's age and time can help you do so much you can almost always guarantee you have a audience big or small that will tune into what it is or whatever it is that you're selling you know as long as you're honest as long as you are you know connecting to the right people i think it's it creates a way for you to personally grow as a person you know it also allows you to integrate again like you know things such as a business or 
things such as um again your work that sort of creates the pathway into you having your dream corporate position youtube is one of the great ways of doing that so honestly i would not knock it till you try it and that's one thing i will say moving forward as i talk about the reasons you should start a channel definitely don't knock it until you try it this job is not something that everyone can do but i think that everyone can try and that's all we need you can try and move forward and if you like it just keep doing it if you find that you don't like youtube there are so many other social platforms to grow and i think that that also just wraps into your personal brand just as a person i feel like you know everyone deserves the chance to grow something that allows them to get closer to that dream life you know whatever that is you know we all have different goals different dreams but being on youtube specifically can help you do that it is a longer game than a lot of other platforms however i think that it has the most benefits and if you're a person like me who needs breaks at times maybe to just gather themselves it's one of the best ways to grow an audience because you know you when you grow a when you grow an audience that really enjoys what you do and feels like they benefit from what it is that you do and who you are as a person you can always come back so that's what i like about youtube and that brings me into the next reason you should start your youtube channel you can build a community building a community kind of piggybacks on the idea that you have a personal brand and through that personal brand you've been able to connect with people who share similar values who are interested in what it is that you do you know you can also create a space for others who relate to you and whatever it is that you have personally for me um i am someone that lives with chronic illness so i am now coming back with that as a new i guess additive on my life experience as a person um i've been sharing the ways that i cook for myself and allow myself to enjoy the foods that i love but in ways that my body can have you know there are foods that i used to love and i'm not able to enjoy them because i remove certain things from my diet to benefit my health um gluten is one of the biggest ones so yeah definitely be sure to tune in for that that's a quick plug shameless plug actually but besides that again building a community is just something that allows you to you know just grow as a person because personally for me i've learned the most about myself by who i've connected with so my connection to people helps me grow and i hopefully i hopefully hopefully hope that's such a that's a new phrase but i hopefully hopefully hope that i've affected someone that's the beautiful thing about youtube you don't necessarily know who's watching your videos but you know it's just great to know that there is someone out there in the world and that's another thing youtube is worldwide you guys so your community doesn't have to be limited to just where you are your community can be you know across the atlantic and i'm speaking for myself i'm in the united states so you know i can have audiences that are in um you know parts of africa or different countries in africa different countries in europe and i would not know maybe countries in asia i have no idea but at the end of the day what i've done and what i'm doing is creating a community of people who support me wholeheartedly and who i can hopefully support and provide information and value to as humans you know whether it's just you coming to my channel when you're watching my vlogs and you know you're feeling like someone gets you or you're feeling happy you know from my more my i guess my more relaxed videos where i'm a little you know i wouldn't say i'm uptight in this video but what i'm saying is that i am able to create a personal brand remember that point i'm able to create a personal brand that allows me to build a community around me that's my goal at least some people do create youtube channels or you know platforms for other reasons but for me i want to create a space where i can be appreciated that's the honest truth and i can also bring value to people who i would otherwise not get to know or see if i never made this youtube channel so build a community is really important to me i've also built communities in the past my audience and main demographic has always been women you know so that is who i speak to i am a woman first and you know i speak to women like me you know black women women of color people that can relate to being brown black in this world and being a woman so that is who i mainly speak to but again like i said you don't have to be a woman to build a community you know you can build a community where 
people that are like you can grow and feel accepted so that is just the beautiful thing about youtube you have all the free range to do that so yeah i'm gonna get into these last few reasons for you to start a youtube channel and then i'm gonna get into some tips and tricks so if you're tired of watching me right now i promise you like i'm gonna get to the tips and tricks don't click off but if you do click off watch something else that i have for you guys okay so yeah um let's get into this next reason reason youtube is a big has a big potential to become a income stream for people there are a lot of people who are able to live off of their adsense youtube potential all alone like without any brands without any sponsorships they're able to live a life that they love based on what they get from this adsense when you join the youtube partner program so that is um something that a lot of people obviously make their goal when they are creating content i feel as if out of all the platforms that we have today in social media youtube does a lot to invest into their creators there are people that are literally making four or five figures a month just from doing this so i will never doubt the potential income that you can make from here you know obviously you want the algorithm to find your content and you want to find people who enjoy your content and that's how you create that steady flow youtube has the has a potential to become a, a full-time job it has a potential for you to create more income brand deals your sponsorships um partnerships collaborations also just from becoming an entrepreneur i think being on youtube allows you to become business minded because at the end of the day if you are able to reach your goal which is monetization for a lot of people you are able to you know make yourself a business whatever or whatever it is that you do there are faceless channels there's a lot of ways to make money on this youtube you know you don't have to sit in front of a camera like me you don't have to talk to people you can literally just use all the technology hell we have ai like you can use ai and create content that people still connect to youtube has the potential to become a huge income stream for you and like i said it can also create plenty of ways for you to make income outside of youtube the last reason i think that you should start a youtube channel just comes from the idea that you can document yourself you can document your life and this goes for those of you who want to start a channel where you such as myself are the center of that brand you're the center of that channel you're the center of the content that was one of my main reasons actually for starting a youtube channel many years ago i am i guess someone that people you might say oh that's morbid but i'm like you know if something was to happen to me and i'm no longer here i will have created something that allows people who loved and cared about me to still kind of enjoy me i was already just like in 2050 like oh you know basically like let's upload my data on the internet so that way those who miss me or love me are able to enjoy me so that was my thinking the biggest ways that youtube has benefited me is the fact that i get to document my life and me being someone who started youtube pretty early because next year will actually be my 10 year anniversary i think when it comes to youtube so i look forward to that and hopefully by next year i will have grown significantly and i will have made friends with a lot more people because you guys watch my video and you like what i'm doing and you feel like i bring value to you as a content creator you know so while it is about documenting my journey as a human and documenting a lot of the journeys that we do take because we do have an overall life journey but we do take little journeys and side steps we tend to feel like our lives are over if we don't accomplish things by a certain age but what i'm learning as i'm getting older obviously is that a lot of the things that we thought people were achieving like you know because there there are a lot of standouts that we see in celebrities or just everyday people who have used platforms like this to become like you know the best at what it is that they do we have seen people achieve success fairly young so when you get to like my age and you're like oh my god like what have I done? Have I done enough? Or why don't I have 100,000 followers? Or why don't I have a million followers? Why don't I have that car? Why don't I have a house? Or, you know, we start to question ourselves, but, you know, we have to realize that everyone's life path is different. You are not supposed to be doing the same thing as someone else. We can take inspiration from others. We can even idolize people or idealize people and follow the in their footsteps but at the end of the day our journey as a person like it's just unique to it's unique to who you are as a person it's unique to you as an individual so yeah um you know youtube allowed me to document myself 
and I loved going back um, most recently as well because I am in my 30s now I would love going back and watching like my old video like me on I went on a cruise which is one of my like highest viewed videos maybe today you know just the travel videos and things like that I get to see how I've grown so I really appreciate YouTube for that and if you guys are tired of me talking well guess what we're gonna get to the tips and tricks on how you guys can get started today and then we're gonna wrap up this video so if you like what you have gotten when you've reached this point in the video be sure to subscribe like and share this video wherever you can i did my makeup and my hair today so you guys can share this video wherever you can so as promised i want to talk about some of the ways you can start your channel today and by sharing some of my um tips and tricks this is just basically trying to get you guys started and i don't want you feeling like if you don't have what i have you can't start my youtube content creator checklist starts as having something to record yourself so that can be a phone it can also be a camera such as the one that i'm on and i will share a link to the camera that i'm recording on which is the canon g7x mark ii you know one thing about me i i'm a budget girl i like to save my money you can spend your money if you have the resources to buy everything brand new you know get the most up-to-date phone get the most up-to-date camera to start but at the end of the day you just really need your phone that's it you can use your phone and get started so don't worry if you don't have those things yet growing on the channel and using what you have allows you to be able to get those things later and fyi one of my vlogs that have gotten you know really good views my travel vlog i went to nigeria five years ago and i'll plug that video in as well i went to nigeria and i was able to record my whole vlog like all four videos are all recorded on my iphone I think it was my iPhone 11 at that time. I used that camera and I was able to get pretty good footage. I got a lot of 40 foot, 4K footage. I said 4D child, but 4K footage, guys. I got a lot of 4K footage that I was able to help me create a really nice and memorable travel vlog. Going to Nigeria and meeting and seeing people that are part of my family. Um, I am Nigerian and Jamaican ethnically, so you know my culture is very important to me. So what I'm trying to say is that you don't need all the fancy tools because I was able to make videos that have been able to impact my growth as a content creator so yeah use your phone if you can so number two on the checklist is your confidence and bravery as well bravery in parentheses the reason why I said that confidence is necessary is because it takes um, confidence and bravery in parentheses to be able to put yourself out there no matter what that is YouTube helped build my confidence, but the reason why I say confidence is necessary or something that I suggest people to have is because this journey as a content creator, there can be bumps in the road. You know, there are some people who seemingly come on the internet and they just go smooth sailing, but the general creator takes a journey of up downs and depending on what you're doing, um, you know, people can be harsh. People can criticize your looks. I've had my looks criticized on the internet, you know, by random people I didn't know. It did get to me at the time, but you know, it allowed me to also just build upon my confidence. But I did acknowledge that it took confidence in the beginning anyway, and bravery, parentheses, to just put myself out there, especially because I wanted to be the focus of my content. Because like I said, remember, I have the journalism degree so my dream or my dream life sort of incorporated me speaking to people in a general way just try to be brave you know and i think in being brave you can be able to create content that is great and wonderful for those who find it no need to worry and if you don't have the confidence like i said bravery parentheses just be brave and when you make your content and as you keep doing it your confidence will grow so that's a benefit of creating a channel if you want to as well. So something else on the start a YouTube channel checklist is I personally feel like you should figure out what you are actually going to do. If you're like me, I'm a chatterbox by nature. So I knew that whatever it is that I was doing, again, I was going to be talking. So I was going to be sharing information. I was always going to be talking. I was always going to be documenting something. And, you know, as I grew as an editor, I was going to be always filming something to edit it and put out there, you know, as a creative, I needed to create something. So that's what YouTube became for me. But you are definitely allowed to come in on a niche. 
but I will also say that picking a niche in this day and age is not necessary until you have found that thing that has made the core of your audience so yeah definitely you know figure out what it is that you want to do um so whether it is you want to sit down and talk to people whether you want to do your hair your makeup you want to talk about sports again gaming um beauty just in general you want to document things you want to do talk about people's lives you want to talk about inspirational people you can do whatever it is that you need to do on youtube you know so yeah it's really possible tip number four i definitely think that you should believe in yourself and that kind of couples with the confidence parentheses bravery it's not like i don't want to say that i didn't believe in myself but I didn't have the tools yet that were necessary to become who I am today in order to just keep continuing on the journey of what it means to be a full-time content creator. So now that I fully believe in myself, which look at me, I'm 30. It took me years to get to that full point. And when I say believe in myself, it's specific to creating my world or creating my dream life. I always thought that I would be on a straight and narrow kind of, I guess, conservative path as far as what a traditional career looks like but the world has been anything but that to me and my journey has been anything but that bringing it back to believing in myself you know um believing in myself is the key thing and one of the biggest reasons why i'm able to do this today and why i will continue to do it as i move forward so i'm really happy um that I'm able to feel that way but I'm telling you now so that way you don't have to be like me and take a while to get to it if you believe in yourself you can achieve anything if you believe in yourself you can do anything I mean if you're afraid that this will fail then you failed already failure seemed like the end of the world to me but I started to realize that failure was a good thing failure allowed me to basically know what doesn't work what works and it also showed me that i'm capable of just doing things and that all you need in the world is one yes or you need just one good thing to happen in whatever it is that you're creating so you know just be happy and believe in yourself and believe in what it is that you're creating for yourself because starting a youtube channel is a good thing you can get a lot of benefits from doing this thing and i'm one to talk like i said you can check my channel my channel is small you know but i do hope to grow as time moves forward but yeah like you know i think youtube's a really great thing and i think everyone should start i tell everyone you should start a youtube channel so yeah i'm gonna keep telling you <laughs> start a youtube channel my last and final tip as someone who has started a youtube channel for someone who needs to start just start like that's it just start and i took a century to get to this thing you know just to tell you guys to start but at the end of the day it's the only and the single piece of advice that is the most important on this journey to becoming a content creator just start just begin don't think about it start and you know put yourself out there get the experience learn what it takes to create content because a lot of people are like oh you just sitting in front of a camera talking baby when you start doing this you will understand what i'm talking about and i'm not saying it because i'm trying to let you know that oh this is so hard because it's not that hard if you love doing it, it like i said it is true if you like doing something it doesn't feel like work per se you know even though it can be and it is work but you know you really just learn a lot about yourself. Just start, you know, don't think about it, you know, watch this video and go make your channel name right now. So if you've gotten to this point in the video, be sure to add your channel name in the comments. Like I said, remember I said earlier, when you start your channel, share it in the comments because I want to create a community um, of people who are in the same boat as me and as others. So that way we can kind of grow together. So all in all, remember that the best time to start is now. And if you like this video, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I am super excited for your first video. Please tag me in it when you do it. Put it under this video. I'm excited and I'm waiting and I'm happy to see it. Thank you guys for being here. I'll see you in my next video. Oh yes, no, let me do my tagline. I love you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember when you subscribe, you become a part of the tribe, which means that you're my people and I love you. Bye.